What's up, guys? Welcome to TMG Podcast. This is actually last week's episode. If you want today's episode, uh, that'll be on our Patreon right now. Uh, you can get it a week early if you contribute. It's patreon.com slash tinymeatgang. Um, so thanks if you do that. And if not, enjoy this one. Peace. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Uh, if you're watching this on Patreon, you'll notice that now we're in the corner of our insane asylum. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All that's left is the straight jackets. This podcast is not real. More room to do this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, more, more, yeah. A lot of rocking yeah. room here. <laughs> Just keep imagining some guy walking by being like, yeah, they uh, they think they have a podcast. Or <laughs> 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 just insane. This whole thing. 680, I'm gay. 680, I'm gay. Yeah, they keep talking about I'm gay. 680, put it down. Put it down. Put it down. I'm gay. I'm fucking gay. I'm gay. I don't, I don't get it, man. Is that what their podcast is about? Being 680 gay? I don't... Those poor, poor souls. <laughs> what happened to them? What did their God, uncle have do to mer- them? <laughs> have mercy on their souls. Those poor lads. <laughs> them boys. So um, we are in the process of getting new furniture, getting a new look, We're looking at new cameras. We're about to dress this shit up. It's yeah. about to look insanely good. Yeah, we're going to... Uh, we upgraded the audio shit so that it should sound nice and crisp right now. Yeah, should sound a lot better. Um, <clears throat> we actually... Do we even talk about that? What? Buying that gear to record the post? I think we did. Did we? Maybe. I mean, just... I just mean, the brief of paraphrase it. Paraphrase it. Yeah, we just... We ran around London to get... <laughs> we were going to buy something that was pretty expensive in the US. And then we were like... Uh, we have to buy gear because we forgot gear when we went, wanted to record with Post. So when we ran out to buy it, yeah, we, we did tell the story. But I think the main takeaway for me was it was fucking 30% more expensive in London. And we are just like, no, no. <laughs> and then the guy was like, no, but you can get all the city tax or whatever, London tax. You yeah, can get yeah, that back at the airport. Yeah. But then we just didn't go to the London airport. So we couldn't do that. Dude, do you know how much of a bitch that shit is? <laughs> yeah, I know. You have to like... You have to mail it to them, then they confirm it with like London tax people, and then they mail you the money. We get the money in like six. So it off, takes three years. Half off on cameos, by the way. <laughs> That's how we're recouping the money. Yeah, we're recouping the money. <laughs> so yeah. My main takeaway from that whole shit was that it was London's only audio store. Only one. The only place that you can get anything audio related in London. Insane. Are there just zero musicians or just anybody doing anything audio related in London? I I guess. I mean, that that was fucking crazy when I t- told him. I'm like, you can't be the only story. He goes, I know, mental in it. <laughs> He's like, me and the four guys in here, only guys who make music. Like in all of central London. Like, like, like all of the UK listens to our shit. <laughs> <laughs> we produce for all the grime rappers. Everyone's Skepta. I'm Skepta. Yeah. <laughs> but you're white. I know it's a lot different on tape. It's like a branding thing. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Skepta's a plant artist. Oh, that's bad. An industry plant. Oh no! So, I mean, they didn't have any choice. It was like these are the five dudes that make music. So <laughs> you, I guess. Speaking of industry plants and industry incels. <laughs> Russ, my main Russell. man. Is that what you're about to say? Yeah, Russell. Yeah, Russell. Russell's an incel, bro. Uh-huh. He's a multi-platinum recording <laughs> incel. <laughs> Some dude on Reddit was like, this is the most confident 5'3 dude I've yeah, ever yeah, seen. Yeah, I saw that too. <laughs> he he did, so he did like a, he did an interview on Shade 4-5 or whatever. No, uh, The Breakfast Club. Yeah, The Breakfast Club. Yeah. And he's like, like Charlemagne's asking him about, uh, you know, young bands and Smoke Perp, like, continually clown him on yeah, Twitter. Yeah. Young band specifically. Yeah. So I think Charlemagne brought those two up. I didn't see the whole clip. I watched the whole clip. Okay, okay. So, so he, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he like he like he brings it up. Um and then he brings up, you know, rappers saying like fuck Russ and that and Russ goes on this like very stuttery like long rant about like well, I I'm, I I they I seen him in person. They know what time it is. They know what time it is, bro. They know what time it is, bro. <laughs> you know time. And the guy was like so what does that mean? Like, did you? He's like, they know what time it is. They know what time yeah, it is. What? They yeah, know I mean, what time it's, like, it is. it's like, well, yeah, it's four thirty. Yeah, they know what time it is. So you know, it's four. Well, four twenty-four p.m. All I'm gonna say is, I got like he's so he starts bragging about having footage of um, Smoke Perp getting jumped. Yeah, 
Um, no, one of the two. Oh, yeah, yeah, one of the two. And then Young Bands tweeted, you know, damn well Russ ain't beat my ass. <laughs> You've replied to the video, yeah, too. Yeah, you know, damn well. He's like, fuck Russ. The smoke herb didn't say anything. No, guys, Russ said, if if they say fuck Russ one more time, oh, I'm releasing the video. Yeah. So then Young Bands <laughs> responded by just going, fuck Russ. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, you, you know, damn well he didn't beat my ass. <laughs> So then today, <laughs> academics put up a video of Smoke Perv actually getting jumped. And it's whack. Like, the jumping isn't even, like, that solid. They get some shots in there, but I'm like, these are your shooters, bro? Dude, and mean, then security does nothing. Yeah, they're, they're just, just standing, standing there. there. He's like, uh. Yeah. That's so English. That's so English. Just stubborn and, like. Well, nothing in my contract says I, I have to get in the way of this. So, like, if you really, if you really want me to do this, like, I need my supervisor to, to call me on my line, and then, and then I'll get it authorized, and then I speak to the head of security, and then if he says it's okay, so it's like two layers before we could properly like intervene. Oh shit, they've already uh, clapped his little cheeks, so I guess it's over then. Clapped his little cheeks. I guess it's over then. Well, sorry, sorry, move along. They're like one of them is like hugging perp, like they like, they do kind of beat the shit out of him. I mean, they beat his ass, but like it, the, it's just kind of like, come on, like Russ wasn't even there. That's what come I'm saying. on. And then, and then the follow up clip with Russ standing there, be like, you you gonna keep talking behind his eight people? You gonna keep talking? <laughs> you gonna keep talking? <laughs> Trying to look over his bouncer's shoulders. Yeah. You gonna keep talking? Like on his tippy toes. What's up now, yeah. bitch? Yeah. Oh, let all them eight dudes move out the way and say all that shit. Yeah. You won't. Yeah. I know. <laughs> so whack. I know. It's whack to go on a radio show and brag about the fact that your goons beat up. It, didn't he just like incriminate himself a little bit? Like, I mean, what was funny was. Uh, yeah, I guess. Charlemagne at some point in the interview brought up something about like suing or like pressing charges. And, and Russ goes, like, they won't do that because that's not hip hop. <laughs> Charlemagne goes, yeah, they will. <laughs> Yeah, they will. Uh, this era doesn't care about stuff like that. Yeah, they will. And then, so like, like, dude, you're not hip hop. Yeah. <laughs> well, then, then Russ goes, like, well, whatever. That's whack, then. That's whack. <laughs> and you could feel it. I felt like for a moment he felt like, oh, wait a second. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Yo, did I just tell him myself? Yo, like, Charlemagne, like, yeah. can you, like, edit that part out? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> this laugh. That was a really good impression. <laughs> Damn. That was no. really good. No, Did, like, like I know, like, I didn't, like, I didn't know, like. No. You think he'll press charge? You really think so? Yeah. Yeah, this generation don't care about that. Damn. Yeah. And you can't edit that part out? No. <laughs> Damn. And then DJ Envy. So, so, what's, what's up with the new, uh. <laughs> he's always screaming. He's always away from his mic yelling. So, so, tell, tell us about, uh. <laughs> Tell us about that time you got a booty in your ass. Russ was on the fucking Forbes list, though, for most money in hip-hop made last year, or this year, I guess. Yeah. 12 million bucks he made. Yeah, it's all like Fortnite kids and college girls buying his shit. I just think that's that's pretty crazy. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't surprise me. Let's see who else is on this thing. <clears throat> he's still bring a, this up. He's still an incel, though. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. You think he fucks? No. <laughs> I mean, yeah, no, he probably is. I mean, he's like, he's got money and all that. Like, It'd be so funny. It would be so funny if he didn't fuck. <laughs> like, if he was truly an incel? Yeah, like, okay, like, I'm not, like, laughing at incels, no, but I'm just but saying, like, I'm just saying, like. If he had all that. Yeah, if if he, like, the money and the fame and he's <laughs> confident and he stays making, like, romantic songs about sex or whatever. No, he would but, be. But, like, no girls No, he'd be hit proving the incel philosophy, which is you can literally have it all as a little dude. Yeah. And it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the 5'3-ness just the five, doesn't, yeah, it just doesn't <laughs> go away. Did you see that tweet that I sent out? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait, I got to read this tweet. <laughs> I Yo, gotta read this. What the fuck is with the short people slander? I know it's crazy. It's wild, dude. Bro. If I was like, if I was like Russ's height, I would be legitimately so self conscious about that. I got all in, that right now. I got all that shit in like high school and junior high, and I thought it was done with. And now, now you know what it feels like. It feels like um, <laughs> whenever I read those tweets, it's like when the teacher gets the like <laughs> the teacher gets in front of the class and they're like, "All right, so this test was really bad." There were only 10 passing grades. And I'm going to hand them out right now. And then you're just, like when I see like when I read the 5, I'm like and I like open one eye and it says 8. I'm like oh, 
<laughs> like when I read a tweet, I feel like I'm about to like just get a fat F, or like fucking just take a huge L as I'm reading it. As soon as I and know then you're a, one inch away yeah, from not taking yeah, an L. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, oh, whew, like I got a D plus on that shit. Yeah, barely. One inch away and yeah. you're still happy. Yeah. Oh, God damn. <laughs> Man, if they would have said 5'9", I would be just well, in shambles right now. Killed myself <laughs> instantly. Okay, this is the tweet. I went out with my 5'1 friend and her 5'2 boyfriend on Sunday, and it was like walking two Pomeranians. <laughs> <laughs> That's so <laughs> fucked up, man. It's so <laughs> fucked up. It's, yeah, I mean, it, it's whack. It's whack. I mean, ah, oh, man. Whatever. Everyone's 5'3 laying down, bitch. Short slander. <laughs> yeah, it's whack, man. It's whack, dude. It's consistent. It's whack. The same people that are short slandering yeah. are the same people that got mad at that kimono picture. Yeah. And claimed that was cultural appropriation. You know what I'm saying? Like they're the people that jump to be like, "Oh, I'm offended, fucking triggered yeah, at that shit." Yeah. But then they, but then they short slander. Well, I mean, you know, pick and choose, man. I'm just saying, pick and choose. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, you th- you think people who, uh, <laughs> you, you think the kimono people are okay bashing on short people? You think that's their like, that's the, the the fucking what am I? What's the word I'm looking for? Oh, the um. Oh yeah. No. The crescent rose. No, not the crescent rose. Oh, damn. you're thinking about the, uh, <laughs> the juniper salad. Whatever, I, I give up. Polished. Uh, who cares? Yeah, the juniper baseball. salad. Baseball. Yeah, po- yeah, yeah. I'm just saying yeah, random things. <laughs> I try to sound smart. And, <laughs> I'm just stupid. I just need the to thorn, the, ro- the thorn in the side of the rose or yeah, whatever? The thorn in that, the side of the rose, yeah. <laughs> that old That's phrase. That old phrase. Oh, uh, yeah, that old thing. No, I actually read a really funny tweet, like which I think is the only an awesome clap back for like, People who are like, I like tall men. Like some girl tweeted like, men 5'10 to 6'4, you have my heart or some shit. And then I saw all these little short dudes replying like, is that why you didn't text me back? I'm like, oh, <laughs> yes, dude. Yes, it is. No, but, that's why. <laughs> well, that too. That's why. <laughs> he's 5'7 and he talks like that. Don't Ew. tweet someone about not <laughs> calling you back. So fucking. Yo, what's up? See, so you're on Twitter. You're tweeting. It's like. I did like I called you like an hour ago. Like so, your phone's on. Clearly, you're on Twitter tweeting. So text me back. What the fuck are we? What are we? <laughs> <laughs> so this 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 girl was like, I love my tall boyfriend. I love that he's so huge, and I feel like a tiny little baby in his arms, and calling him daddy. Cool. I love feeling like a little baby in my tall daddy boyfriend's <laughs> arms. I just love being so small and teensy tiny. Like, Wait, just, this is real. Yeah, it was like a real tweet. Like just, what? Just basically saying like girls who like tall men have like a weird like <laughs> daddy issue. Like I thought you meant that was like an actual. Oh no, <laughs> literal tweet from someone. No. Just, I love being small, puny little. I love. Being a little miniature fucking yeah whatever <laughs> honey i shrunk the kid's size <laughs> in my boyfriend's palm i love being a little six month baby getting spanked and fed milk from my daddy's big I love being hands jack and the beanstalk <laughs> jack and the beanstalk love being i love being jacked by jack's beanstalk <laughs> gigantic green monster mm. i love being a little i'm a little I'm a little princess, and he's the ogre. <laughs> Living at the top of his beanstalk, <laughs> carrying me like a little bean, almost eating me like one of his little beans because I'm so small in his big, gigantic <laughs> Hulk hands. I wish the Hulk would come and carry me away. Uh, I love being eaten, almost eaten by my giant ogre boyfriend. <laughs> I love being a little piece of food. I'm a little little piece of rice. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I love being a little World War II ration in a tin can for my giant meaty boyfriend, big old man cake. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. So uh, that's gonna be my response to any uh woman who says that they like tall men. Yeah. But you have a complex. Yeah, exactly. You look at Jack and the Beanstalk and get horny, huh? Yeah. Yeah, because he's so tall. And yeah, he's so tall, and he can throw me across the room like uh, a piece of f- food, <laughs> piece of discarded food. I'm like a piece of trash. <laughs> <laughs> just like a little banana peel in his life. It's just, just a little piece of garbage on the floor that he can pick up and mold and fold and mush with his Sun, two palms. Sunflower seed. <laughs> just mm. chew me up and spit chew me, me up out. And spit me out. <laughs> 
split me in two and spit me out. Ooh. <laughs> I love being... <laughs> I love being microscopic uh, okay. to my giant boyfriend. You know, I forget I asked. You know, it's, <laughs> can't even it's cool. See, can't even see me. Doesn't cool. even know I exist. I'm so small and <laughs> tiny and eensy weensy. So did, did you want whipped cream on that? or? <laughs> uh, cool. So you said two pumps, <laughs> light cream. Cool. So you guys are in lane four. If you just want to, <laughs> do you need shoes or? <laughs> uh, so, yeah, like I was saying, try not to throw the ball <laughs> too far. I love being a little bowling ball, and my daddy throws me down the lane. <laughs> also, chicken strips and beer is four ninety nine. <laughs> Until 2 a.m. I love being a little chicken strip, a little chicken nugget. And my daddy dips me <laughs> dips me in plum sauce. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, that sounds very good. That sounds really good. Holy fucking shit, dude. <laughs> wow. Uh, speaking of uh, shit I've seen on Twitter, I saw this fucking meme. Oh, hold up. I got to pull this shit up. It was so it's, it's one of these like <clears throat> fucking. I follow this account. It's like cursed boomer images. Mm -hmm. And it's like all like memes by like just boomers. Like they're like. Like baby boomers? Yeah. Like heavy like political stances they have and oh, just okay. how out of fucking touch they are. <laughs> <laughs> boomer memes? Yeah. It's like they're so bad. That's, that's good. So there's this one. It's like a two frame, <laughs> it's stacked. Uh, the top frame is Trump, and uh, it's like uh, it's supposed to be making. F this is like a left-leaning meme, right? It's like making fun of conservatives. He goes, "We're going to build a space force, and the aliens are going to pay for it." And then the second frame is an alien going, "We ain't paying for shit." And I'm like, "Don't you see a a small bit of irony in that?" Like alien is also the term for like illegal immigrants, oh, so it's uh, it's not really. Uh, <laughs> it's a little like I don't know. It yeah. doesn't really feel like a joke. It's yeah. like I don't know, whatever. And you and, saw this on boomer memes. Yeah, it's like cursed boomer images. It's cursed like, boomer images. Right, that, so are they making memes? Is this like an old person on their computer? Like no, a, like a meme it's generator. Like, it's like a dude like 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 scraping Facebook for like bad. That's boomers. what I'm saying. Oh yeah, yeah. Are no. they like are the no, these Adults, are made by like, people making them. Yeah, yeah. So some like old person, fifty year old like mom named Sue yeah. is like <laughs> fires up the meme generator on her fucking <laughs> iPhone or whatever. Yeah, that's how they all look. And makes like a politically charged meme. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Damn, that sucks. <laughs> if you find that app on your mom's phone, you're like, <laughs> Mom, what the well, fuck? Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. I, mom, why do you have I funny on your phone? <laughs> <laughs> she goes, "It's your boy, skinny penis." <laughs> She's like, what else? I mean, what else am I supposed to use to make? <laughs> Dude, these like these are so bad. Like this one, it's it's <laughs> Hillary Clinton riding on a Holy fucking shit. wrecking ball. It says America's wrecking ball. It's like the Miley Cyrus, yeah, but it's video, like, but her, Hillary Clinton's yeah. head comped on, and then the ball says email. <laughs> it's just bad, dude. <laughs> Holy shit! It's like after th like. I don't, I, however long past the fucking election they finally figured out how to use meme generator yeah. and they're like oh I'm gonna kill it now <laughs> I've had all these jokes I've been writing down on my iPad <laughs> and now this is my new calling <laughs> just, wait, it's, just like, I've, been, I've been looking for a hobby you know like <laughs> like moms they're like done working and they're like yeah. I need a hobby <laughs> that's their hobby <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I've just like been really getting involved in the meme community, <laughs> and there's a lot of actually like you know m local moms yeah. in and around <laughs> you know this area, rural Indianapolis, just making them that also make memes, just, and it's great. <laughs> what kills me is like <clears throat> imagining them fumbling through making a meme, and their Facebook feed is just filled with like Russian bot <laughs> like ad posts. <laughs> And they just feel like this pressing urgency to like combat like these posts and shit. This is like some Russian bot is like Bernie Sanders is is going to hell. And he's like, absolutely he's not. And then they're just like 
how Bernie I, Sanders is gay. How do I anti-meme this? <laughs> how do I anti-meme this? <laughs> Michael? <laughs> I need help with the <laughs> iPad. I'm trying to do the picture on the iPad. How do you get tech? How do you get text over a picture? <laughs> Mom, I'm, I'm at work. <laughs> you can't call me with this kind of <laughs> shit. Hi, hon. Check out this new meme I just made. It's like oh. it's like Trump is bottom text. Oh, I, I just <laughs> I block my mom so fast. <laughs> just <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good, man. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. I'm over it. Oh, man. Yo, actually, <laughs> speaking of Russ, going back to Russ. Yeah. Um, I listened to a couple songs off his album. Yeah. And they're hilarious um, because one of, one of the songs in particular, all the lyrics are about how he's, like, shitting on these other rappers. Yeah. And he's, like, he can, you know, he's a better rapper than them. <clears> he <throat> can, like, beat them and all this shit. And it was just funny listening to this because, like, just knowing that nobody else gives a shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, nobody nobody cares. No. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you could you could say that to someone. Like, it, it honestly would be like going up to someone on the street and be like, I, I could beat the shit out of you. And they're like, I don't care, yeah. man. I don't know who you are. I don't want to fight. <laughs> I don't want to fight. I'm going to. Come here. <clears throat> Why I oughta. Yeah. Dude, can I'm on my way to work? Can you just. <laughs> <laughs> just and then like excuse me yeah just get by you there Russ it's just yeah the most lyrical rapper in like history dropped the album dissing everybody and all everybody did was like <sighs> oh my god if he dissed Russ <clears throat> that would have been great fuck that would have been great that would have been great <clears throat> did you did you watch the uh, I did Eminem not. interview no I did damn not it I, I have to fucking part two is so good alright particularly because they bring up the MGK beef. Uh huh. Eminem shits on him in oh, like yeah? the best way. <laughs> I've ne- I was sitting there cheesing, <laughs> watching this video because of how bad he just like was like, he was like, he basically was like, dude, like, the whole thing started because MGK said Eminem's daughter was hot, uh, like, however many years ago she was also like sixteen at the time or something. So MGK got in some weird beef because of that. Yeah, and he like doubled down on it and was like, I think this is okay for me to say this. So he like did a press run where he was like talking about Eminem's daughter. Eminem was like, dude, I had no idea until like a year and a half ago, which wasn't even on my radar. I just didn't even know. And then I was fucking in a black hole on YouTube or whatever, and I bring up this video and I see he's talking shit about my daughter. So I'm like, wait, what the fuck? That's how the whole thing started. But basically, he was just like, <clears throat> he was like, and then I keep saying, I keep seeing MGK on these radio shows talking about, and I'm just like, dude, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. I have no idea who you are. I don't care about you at all. And then he's going on about, he's going on about how his idols become his enemies and blah, 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 and I'm a better rapper. Dude, he's like, I don't give a shit about you. You're not, you're nowhere close to good enough. <laughs> There's so many rappers that are better than you. I don't even, I'm not even close to good enough. You're not even close to good enough for me to even realize like you exist. Yeah. And then, and then the guy was like, so did you hear Rap Devil? What'd you think of it? And Eminem was like, oh yeah, I heard it. He's like, it's pretty good for him. I mean, there's some good lines in it, but like, it's just such a great way. Yeah. yeah. Just, and he was being sincere. Like you could just tell. He wasn't. T- he wasn't saying that shit because he thought that he was just literally like, I don't. I don't know. I didn't know you existed like a year ago. So yeah. like, I don't. I do not care about you. <laughs> and so I know awesome. you. I know you. Like, I was your idol at some point. I still do not care about you. That's so awesome. Fucking shit on yeah. him. It was get, unreal. Get wrecked, brother. Uh, get wrecked. <laughs> get fucking punked, brother. Hmm. Get bodied. Get bodied. <laughs> Yeah, I listened to like the first. I think I saw like a snippet on World Star, and I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm good, brother. For what? The MGK rap devil shit. I, I think it was pretty good. It was just like normal. I don't know. He just calls Eminem old a bunch of times. I've heard so many his tracks. <laughs> I just it all starts to sound the same. Mm. Yo, you rap like shit. Yo, get out the game. Yo, you just mad that like the young and coming up and taking your spot, bruh. Yeah. Some personal shit. Ooh. Did that hurt your feelings? Well, I got more, so don't fuck with me, dog. Single coming out next week. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. That's the worst. When it's a, just a beef out of nowhere. Yeah. Just to promote an album. Yeah. Or something. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that interview is great, though. Watch that interview. No, I'll, I'll peep it. He's, he's incredibly smart. Yeah. Like, it's just weird seeing Eminem be, like, sincere and just... 
Oh, okay. Yeah, like I feel like everything everything he does is so like thought out and planned and whatever, and he like thinks too much about things. He just is like talking his way, and it's like he's yeah. so fucking smart. Yeah, really well spoken. I I mean I think he's just been at it for so long. He just I don't know. But like everything that he says about like like revival and recovery and everything, it's just like so honest and just like yeah, he knows. Yeah, he knows. He sees everyone's criticisms. Yeah, and he know he's like so. I, I guess like to to come out with that many albums that people like talk shit about, talk shit about, and then to come back and be back on top. Yeah, like that's gotta require just the craziest amount of thought and fucking. You yeah. know, he came out with the album and said, uh, "You know, tried not to overthink this one." Yeah, when really he did. <laughs> Well, I mean, like, the whole reason why he came out with this is because he spent so much time thinking about the other That's albums I mean. and why people don't, didn't like them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He No, he definitely thought about and it And that in itself minute. requires so much thought. Yeah. yeah. And reflection. Yeah. It's well, just it's just cool. The dude's <clears throat> fucking... He's, re- a, he's a beast. I remember... He's a beast, dude. Yo, I mean, I don't throw that term around, but dude's a beast. I remember when I was working at the studio... Um, we had a dude who would come through and he would put down keys for um, uh, this dude, DJ Khalil and Dre. I remember he was working on an M project and he came over. It was like two in the morning. And he's like shaking his head and just like all like frazzled. And then the producer I worked for was like, what's up? And he's like, dude, we were working on this shit with M and this hard drive just fucking cratered. And like... Like they tried to, you know, the the back like it didn't back up. So it's basically some song or a couple songs were like on this drive, and like they were talking about like uh, this happened. I think earlier in the day, and like they gave it to some guys who like separated like the fucking uh, the plates like in the drive, and like they're like shooting lasers off them to try to like recover the data. I guess he said like Eminem was just like fully fucking just raging in the studio and everyone's just like, uh, like they didn't know what to do. Like, what the fuck? What the, what the fuck do you mean? And just like pissed because I guess he really liked the song or a couple songs they were working on and just they're all like, uh, technology, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's like that scene from Atlanta. Yeah, yeah. You know that scene? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, yeah. sorry, man. Like the engineer's like, sorry, dude, it crashed. Yeah. And the guy's like, well, don't make it crash. I... I love you. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> He's like, don't. He's like, I'm just saying, like, I'm not the only one with hands out here. All right? It's all love. <laughs> yeah, man. It's all love. All right, stop talking. <laughs> all right. That shit was great, it's man. so good. That shit was really good. Yeah, You know what song I feel like uh, fucking was a missed shot for Eminem? Just, like, on the topic, fucking uh, Fire. That's all. I'm on Fire. You remember that shit? Mm. It was off like one of his shitty albums. Oh no! Um, I just remember some guys like playing it before it had released. <clears throat> like they came like peeling into that parking lot of that studio I worked at. They're like, "Yo, yo, Des, you gotta hear this shit." They like they just crank up the volume on the fucking in the car, and that beat is like pretty like haunting. And just <clears throat> everyone in the studio like came out like, "Is that new Eminem?" It's like, <laughs> and the drums are just going through the parking lot. That was like a moment for me. There was like forty people in this parking lot just like nodding their heads. To like a basically a leak out of a stereo. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, and we're all just sitting there like, yo, this sounds insane and the album sucked ass. <laughs> what did that song do well or no? Not like, really. That, no, but it's like the whole album sucked. Yeah. Or what? Yeah. But it just like I remember like hearing that and everyone in the party was like, yo, M is back. M is back. And then it came out. I'm like, no, he's not. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <Nah. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> anyway. Damn. Yeah. Watch that interview, though. Yeah, a lot of Eminem shit shut. Uh, this is probably a good time to take a break, right? Oh, yeah? All right. Uh, Patreoners will be right back. All right, guys. Uh, today, I want to thank NordVPN for sponsoring this episode of the podcast. Now, uh, you may be thinking, what is a VPN? What? <laughs> Gee, I see that term all over the place. <clears throat> what yeah. is a VPN? Well, yeah. now it's more important than ever. Yeah, it actually is. It stands for Virtual Private Network. Yep. And uh, a VPN is something that anonymizes your internet usage, Mm -hmm. which is very, very important right now. Uh, I remember uh, like an eye-opening moment for me was when I was talking to one of my friends who worked at a browser, a popular browser. And he said, yeah, we we track every URL you go to, (laughs) every single one. So think about that, every single URL. And it's anonymous 
Not really, though, because no, they're all not. tracked to your IP address. You have one IP address. Every URL you yep. go to is tracked to that one IP address. So yep. if you're going to your own Instagram page on your <clears throat> IP address often enough, people can tell exactly who you are, yep. where you go, and what other links you go to, mm-hmm. which is a very scary thing, yep. I think. Yeah. I mean, that whole thing with uh, Rudy Giuliani or whatever. Uh, what, what? Well, he was like he was like basically dissing porn were like sex workers. Oh yeah, yeah. And then yeah. his porn habits yeah. like came out. Yeah. Like that that sort of shit. And that's all off his IP. Yeah, exactly. So So NordVPN is uh it's a uh, what a VPN does is, is it anonymizes your internet usage so it uses other machines, other IP addresses, your internet goes through them. And it makes it random. And it makes it random. So um it anonymizes it so that you'll be safe. Yeah. And I mean this is the most important time to have safe internet usage. They have 61 uh, they have servers in 61 plus countries. Uh, there's no data logging. They have a they have their own Chrome browser that you can use with it built in. It's super easy. I'm using it right now on my PC, and it's super easy. It's a yep. switch that you just turn on, and then it's anonymous, and you're safe. Yep. They have Android and iOS apps. Um, their servers are super fast. 24 seven customer support. They're a really great company. Yeah. Um, and right now, the deal is you can get a you can get 66 percent off a two year plan by using code Tiny Meat. So go to nordvpn.com slash tiny meat, nordvpn.com slash tiny meat. Yeah. I love that all of our deals are our tiny meat. <laughs> tiny meat. They always, they always remove the gang. <clears throat> but it's tiny know, meat. man. Tiny meat. Tiny meat. So yeah, go check that out. Uh, protect yourselves. Um, because, you know, it, it's, I know like the default is like porn browsing, but mm-hmm. it, it's really that if someone gets your IP... I mean that it's like there's a lot that they can sort of I feel like reverse off of that. I mean, just think about websites you go to, like every yeah. URL ever, ever, yeah, that you go to, no matter what it is. Even you're just like, well, I'll just, I'm gonna, I'll just, I'll just click on it. I mean, yeah. well, I mean, I'm not actually into you know. I'm, I'm not, not into four chan. I just I'm not into furry porn. I'm just gonna click on. It. I'm just curious, <laughs> right? I'm not Boom. in tracked. Boom, you're a furry now. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not into Russ per se. <laughs> it's fucked because, I'm just, you know, someone gets my IP address. Oh, yeah. They'd be like, no, you're, you're a Russ fan. You're a Russ fan. All, look at it. There's yeah. like 500 <laughs> links here, <laughs> including Spotify music, everything, that all say Russ. Oh, no, I'm doing it ironically. <laughs> no. Oh, babe, you don't look at other girls on Instagram? <laughs> yeah. Your IP says a whole lot different. <laughs> Your IP says you look at everyone's profile but mine. <laughs> Ladies, I know you want to browse those man candy accounts. You don't want to get found out with that. You don't want to get found out looking at the tiny meat man candy exactly. calendar. Like, what is this? Babe, oh, but what but the fuck is, is this? It's a joke. It's a pocket. No. Yeah. Yeah, no. exactly. You think you think you want fucking patreon.com slash tiny meat gang to show up on your fucking <laughs> list of visited URLs? People are going to be like, what the fuck is this? What, what, and then you're going to have to explain your, these guys, they do porn noises on the, it's not so, actual porn, it's a, they oh, just so do it's porn a, noises. It's a, it's a gangbang thing with, with guys with no, small No, no, meat. it's like porn, like, it's like audio porn, basically. But it's like mostly comedy, but it, it's also partly Because it's, it's porn. funny because they have tiny, d- why, when did you start this? <sighs> you know what? Yeah, it's porn. <laughs> it's fuck easier it. to say our podcast is porn. Yeah, fuck it. So yeah, go get you a VPN that is virtual private network. Mm-hmm. Uh, 66 off per, 66 off a two year plan. Two years. 66% that is. Um so yeah, nordvpn.com slash tiny meat. Uh, Do it. And we're back. And we are back. Um so the, re- related to the ad read, but kind of, um, I feel like now's a good time to talk about virtual penis networks. <laughs> 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 we just did an ad read for a VPN company and uh now we want to get into the real meat and potatoes, which is the virtual penis networks. <laughs> now, what is a virtual penis network? Well, a virtual penis network, kind, kind of interesting. Mm-hmm. Um, it's, a, it's a botnet mm-hmm. where uh, basically it's made up of uh, virtual penises. Mm-hmm. Okay, not real ones. Okay, now how do virtual ones, di- sorry to interrupt, how do virtual ones differ from real penises? So, excellent question. So, you know, Utilizing the blockchain, mm-hmm. we went ahead and created uh, virtual penises that sort of extend off of each other. If you would think of like a long sort of um, a branching tree, 
of virtual penises. It's just data. Okay. But what what it is is that the code and the root code reflects the DNA of an actual penis. Now, what is the use case for this? Yeah. Now, okay. what is the use case for this? So use case for this is that we're finding more and more that women don't actually like men. Okay. So we created a network of ideal penises that can be downloaded, observed, and even processed through 3D printers into a personalized penis. So you get a physical representation of that penis. Mm -hmm. But women no longer have to interact with men. We're, what we're doing is we're creating software to replace us. Wow. Very interesting. Now, how does this benefit us? Well, it... It's not supposed to. Hmm. Men are just supposed to die soon. Oh, okay. That's Interesting. sort of the plan. Interesting. Yeah. So when we expire, hopefully nothing comes next. <laughs> <laughs> and now today you can get 66% off <laughs> the virtual penis network by going to virtualpenisnetwork.com <laughs> slash tiny meat. <laughs> <laughs> so... Bit of a programmer humor there. Little programmer joke there for you no, guys. Virtual penis network is just uh it's just Tinder. <laughs> That's all it is. Yeah, pretty much. I, 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 <laughs> I wonder how like instant it is for women, the dick pics. Like mm. is it just like is it message three? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is like yo, W I D dick. Oh. I wonder how fast a woman could like if she was actively trying to have sex tonight. Yeah. How, how quickly that would happen. Like how quickly she could lock it down. Or or actually how 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 short the TTS could be. Time to sex. Um, so she decides, okay, I want to have sex today. How quickly how quickly can I make this happen? I think, Get on Tinder. How quickly would it take to lock down a, think, a sesh? I think minutes. Minutes? <laughs> minutes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. The time would be dependent on how fast... Tinder's algorithm could like find a match yeah, for her. Yeah. So like how quickly she could pull down the new people, swipe right, done. Yo, wanna fuck? Yep. Yep. Done. Yeah. <laughs> imagine good. being the dude on the other end of that. Yeah. What? Yo, fellas, yo, I gotta go. Yo, yo. <laughs> just in the middle of a surgery, pulls down his mask. Yo. Yo, hey, could someone cover me? <laughs> I, Gotta dip. So you can't leave right now. You can't leave now. It's like a middle of a you know triple bypass. Yo, ah. I know, but like, look at this girl, <laughs> dude. <laughs> oh, damn, she's fine. Yo, just right, like man. yo, just cut that one. <laughs> Put this shit in the other shit. Um, Emilio knows what to, what to do after that part. You you got it. All right, I'm out. I'm out. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta yo, go. peace. peace. Dap yeah. up. <laughs> <laughs> that I word. Yo, I'm going to crush this shit straight up. <laughs> going to get laid. Yo, jizz in her mouth, fam. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck boy surgeon. Yeah. Yo, like, 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 <laughs> yo, like your heart's all like fucked up and shit. Probably because like you ain't been with me yet. <laughs> but like, so, like, I'm going to fix that shit, and then, like, I'm going to fix you. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, that's so good. So like, that's I'm so good. Yo, you got a problem with your heart. <laughs> 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 Probably because you ain't been with me yet. <laughs> and, like, also high cholesterol. <laughs> and it, you, your heart's failing. <laughs> so I'm going to have to prescribe. Prescribe? Yeah, I'm going to have to prescribe you two things. A little bit of. Vitamin me. Egg whites. <laughs> Vitamin and a day with your boy. <laughs> I'm going to have to give the, you. The, no, I'm going to prescribe you with a little bit of uh, vitamin D. Uh, <laughs> and uh, uh, blood thinners because, like, you're, <laughs> it's, like, really bad for you right now. You know what I mean? <laughs> so here, here's how the fucking, here's how the operation is going to go, right? This is the fucking deal, all right? I'm going to go down on you. Oh, wait, no. I'm going to put you under, right? <laughs> Shit, my bad. <laughs> Freudian slip, right? <laughs> anyway, um, that's a smart way of saying, like, I want to eat your pussy. So <laughs> Just to make things totally clear. clear. Um, so, like, yeah, I'm going to put you down under. 
I'm yeah, gonna, I'm gonna split you open. <laughs> oh no! I, I talk about the surgery all yeah. sexual. Yeah. <laughs> so listen, I'm gonna I'm gonna take my tool, right, baby? <laughs> I'm gonna split you in half, straight up. I'm gonna go right down the center on that. <laughs> Beautiful, that beautiful ass body of yours. I'm, I'm gonna start digging around your guts. Yeah, man. I'm gonna be just deep in there. I'm gonna just be like, oh, just like two hand in that shit, like just deep inside, scrambling your shit. Yes, yeah, sir. Can you just talk about delivering my child? Can you just focus? Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, oh, I'm going to be up in them guts. Be all up in your guts, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Mix that shit around. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Bruh, did you hear... Oh, that was good. Now, did you hear... Did you that remember <laughs> that shit from Love Island when Dr. Alex is talking about delivering a baby? No. He just, like, is casually, like... Well, well, you'll cut in it, right? And then, like, out comes the stomach. And, like, he's, like, just... And then he's like talking about like having to reach in a woman to like cradle the baby out. Like you're, he's like, and then like Jack and like someone else are like, like you reach inside. He's like, oh yeah, no, your hands are fully in there. Like, like for a C section? Yeah, like grabbing the baby. Like, and just that image of like you being like forearmed or like wrist deep in a stomach pulling out a fucking child. I was like, yo. And then Jack is like, like wigged the fuck out. He's like, it's like, it's crazy. Like that's his job. Like, oh fuck. <laughs> like he couldn't shake it. Like just putting your hand in someone. I sell, I sell pens. <laughs> I just sell pens, mate. Like, <laughs> no, I, I don't know if I could do that, mate. Yeah, I, yeah. Being a doctor or something. Huh? Being a doctor is something, dude. Something, bro. That's that's <laughs> it. Yeah, that's the conclusion from all that. Damn. Doctors are sick. Doctors are wild. <laughs> Yo, doctors be wilding, dude. <laughs> Yo, doctors be like dead ass. <laughs> are you being dead ass right now? <laughs> oh no, let's not let's not do that. Are you being dead ass? Hey, don't don't pick on Maddie, man. Yeah, yeah. Don't pick on Maddie. Some smokes. of y'all some of y'all have been trying to bully him. Don't bully the boy. He he knows what he's doing. You know, he, he's a nice kid. He's yeah. a nice kid. He's, he's just, just, he's just a, little, a little vape god. Just yeah. let him, just let him, let him do his thing. Yeah, man. he's let harmless. Him, let him blow his fucking clouds, okay? I mean, let him vape. Let him. He's, he's got a little diss track. I think it's out today. When you're hearing this, you know what I'm saying? Throw a like on it. Be yeah. nice. I wonder if that's actually gonna happen. I mean, you know, maybe, you know, I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> I was saying on stream, he needs to, he needs to sell shirts. He needs to capitalize <laughs> off us. Mm -hmm. I wanted to DM him and be like, uh, hey, listen, I know you want to do the di just sell a shirt. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Get get the bread. Mm -hmm. LGBT. Let's mm -hmm. get these beans. All right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like <laughs> get to the bag, my dude. All right. Print a shirt. That it's says Maddie fucking smokes. Number fucking in huge letters. Huge letters. That's shirt number one. Shirt number two. Hit, my nick is over 9,000. Yep. All right. That's a risky t shirt. You should manage him. You oh, should be his manager. Oh, hold on now. <laughs> just saying, bro. These are great ideas. And I'm also saying, Maddie, just get on teespring.com slash Maddie Smokes, okay? His nick level's over 9,000, and it's Maddie fucking Smokes. That's like 50 nick. That's like 50 nick. There's another one. Bam. Just, take, just take all the catchphrases. Get you some profit, fam. Make jewel skins. He actually he had a funny one where he like it's before we did the video. He like did like jewel pods like with his face. <laughs> the caption is like, "I wonder how it would taste, dude." <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I don't know, man. <laughs> it's kind of a weird, weird question. It's a bit of a tigo. What flavor? <laughs> what flavor am I? Are like you skin flavored? <laughs> Ugh. All you bitches could get a taste, dude. <laughs> well, shout out Maddie Smokes, man. <gasps> yeah, big shout out Maddie Smokes. Big, big up, being a good sport, man. Yo, big shout out Liam Vapes. Liam Vapes, dude. I like Liam Vapes' little cheeky uh, IG post. Oh, what was it? He was like, uh, yo, big shout out to Cody, man. Really glad our collab worked out the way we planned it. <laughs> Video was super sick. I'm like, 
<laughs> okay, that's one way of going about it. All right. Yeah. 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 I watched him. I started binging their content a little bit. Did you? Watch him and his boy Nate rip a fat toke. Oh, yeah. I saw that one too. I was crying because <laughs> they hit that and they were all hyped to make that video. And then <laughs> just <laughs> motivation went down the drain. <laughs> they are so loaded. Like, <laughs> like Liam hits that fat one and then the camera cut out. And I could tell Nate was like, nah, you got to hit another one on camera. <laughs> Liam's like, yeah, for sure. I just. <laughs> so you can see the fear in his eyes. I can't feel my feet, dude. <laughs> but I'm not a bitch. Yeah, man, for sure. Yeah, no. Yeah. Well, so, yeah. Yeah, I burn. <laughs> I burn, dude. Let's do another one. Fuck yeah, it. Fuck. Oh, God. Fuck it. I'm a fucking diet. <laughs> Texting his mom. I love you. I love you. <laughs> and then he gets that fat shit out that bowl. I'm like, yo, this kid is slumped. He's dead. In like, they get to, like, it just randomly cuts in the video, and Liam's just, like, on the bed, like, wavering. He's like, dude, I'm like... I need a nap. <laughs> like he's he's fighting for dear life. I was crying, man. <laughs> it's just, oh man, it's funny to see weed like that in real time. Yeah, people are like, dude, we're gonna blaze, we're gonna this, that, and then like when they smoke some shit that's too strong, and they're just on the couch, and you're like, yo, so why did I come here? <laughs> what um, were we doing? <laughs> I've been here twenty minutes, bro. <laughs> 20. Yeah, I don't I don't get that, man. It's funny it's funny to like be a weed vlogger and just like like this is what we're doing today. We're going to smoke weed. <laughs> yeah, dude. This is like yeah. That's the thing. And yeah. people wa- people are going to watch it. Dude, do you remember that guy uh Chubb? <laughs> no. He was like kind of a popular YouTuber. He like sold weed. He like he was like early YouTube and like he used to <laughs> just remember. Chubbs, MarijuanaReviews.com. Today we're going to be hitting like a, like a super like, you know, blah, 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 dab setup. It's super sick. OG Kush. Da, 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 blah, blah. All right. Cheers. <laughs> Every hit had the same review. Yeah, really smooth going down. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm going to be fucking high in a second. <laughs> yeah. So, like, you can get this at my shop. It, that's all, all it was. was just, hi, I'm Chubbs. I'm smoking weed. You can get this weed at my store. They were like 10-minute videos. And people were like, yo, dude, I love the way you hit that. He was the Anthony Fantano of weed. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. And and then... Uh, Except uh, every rating is good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to give this one a 10 out of 10 <laughs> every time. <laughs> and then he like, as the review continues, he starts talking in slow motion as he gets higher and higher. Um, yeah, uh, pretty good. Smooth going down. And uh, yeah, no, I can I get, I get kind of like a weird kind of like a pineapple <laughs> aftertaste. You know? <laughs> holy shit yeah then like I guess his store got robbed and he went through some other drama so like oh damn Chubbs fell off dude shout out Chubbs shout though. out Chubbs Chubbs MarijuanaReviews.com cheers <laughs> I gotta be honest guys I'm gonna have to give this one a 10 out of 10 <laughs> <laughs> there's I mean there's bad <laughs> weed every time there's bad weed but like in California when are you ever smoking bad weed? I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I literally don't know. No, you don't. The weed here, I yeah. have no idea. So I'm, BC I'm weed, assuming though. it's good. BC weed. Dude, talk about that BC bud. Don't even talk to me about that <laughs> shit, dude. You haven't smoked weed until you've smoked that fucking fresh, dank BC bud. Yeah, Canadian, British, Colombian bud. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's, that's no, why it's so good, because it's... it's it's no, B- BC stands for butter cheese. Oh. Butter cheese weed. Got it. Yeah, yeah. Yo, that's, well, I thought it was British Columbia, Colombian. <laughs> They're just putting an N on the end. <laughs> British Colombian. You know what I'm saying? It's no, like, butter cheese. No, British Colombian. Because it, it's weed and it's sprinkled with Coke. <laughs> that's all the weed that's in BC. Nice. That's why it fucks you up real bad. Nice. Yeah, all right, I'm whack. Uh <laughs> Wait, there's a joke that Kelsey told me. Also, everyone's going to be like, it's not British Columbian. Yes, it is. Butter cheese, a.k.a. British Columbian, <laughs> Canada. I'm just trying to think of this joke. It's like this guy's, this guy, his this old man, his wife dies or something. And, uh-huh. and uh, he, or she's like, she needs help. She falls down or something. She needs help. And the yeah. guy runs outside and says, help. 
Help my and the girl's name is Butiches. Yeah, you never heard the Butiches joke? Can you say? Can you tell? Because I'm butchering it right now. No, it's it's basically like uh, this kid. His name is Butiches. <laughs> yeah, he gets hit by a car. Oh yeah, right. His, my Butiches. My yeah, Butiches. Yeah, his his mom comes running screaming out, "My Butiches! My Butiches!" And then someone goes, "Well, then scratch it, lady." Well, then scratch it, you fucking dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> Well, then scratch it, you dumb cunt. <laughs> Jesus. You piece of shit. You piece of shit. <laughs> Wait, his son just got hit by a fucking car. <laughs> but Then scratch your ass. No. My... Oh, my child. My child. Someone call an ambulance. Well, it's his ass. <laughs> Why would that help? <laughs> my sweet buttages. Wait. <laughs> my beautiful buttages. <laughs> yeah, I forgot to bring this up with the manlet shit. So some soccer players get him flack because he's like, he walked up to like a shorter one and like <clears throat> made the symbol. Like you're like up to here on me. Like he's like holding his hand out. Like you're small, which is like the dumbest way to tell someone they're short. Yeah. Hey, dude, you're here. <clears throat> Must I, be here. Yeah. I know. Like <laughs> you're here though. <laughs> Yes, I am. <laughs> yeah. You're up to here. Yeah. It's the most like childlike yeah. way to describe height. <laughs> You're up to here on me. Yes. Yeah, dude, I, I know. <laughs> Next year, maybe you'll be up to, to here. here. <laughs> and eventually, hopefully, I hope you're up to here. So then we can kiss. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm going to just stay down here. You're up to here, man. I'm keeping track on my wall. <laughs> so, anyway, so this fucking, this is long discussion. It's all these fucking moms and parents being, like, disgusting, unsportsmanship-like behavior. I'm like, well, you guys are clearly short. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, that's yeah. why you're hurt. Yeah. But then I read this one tweet. Also, short shaming <laughs> is in. Maybe they don't know that, that it's in. It's very <laughs> trendy right now. So this guy goes, like, Oh, this is bullying. Oh, this is bullying. And some guy's like, dude, this is bound to happen in a competitive arena. It's, <laughs> it's just trash talk. I think you're reading into it. He goes, no, it's not. Even my 11-year-old child recognized it as bullying. And I was like, if you, the guy responds, obviously nice, but it would have been great if you responded to that, like, so your kid's a pussy? <laughs> and you're short? And you're short? So it's like two short-ass pussies on Twitter right now complaining? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god this is bullying stop being a little bitch <laughs> stop being a fucking short little mousy <laughs> you bitch short dude. bitch you tiny little what are you piece of food <laughs> little tiny little pea kernel of rice throw you around <laughs> then, ooh I love that <laughs> <laughs> I love my big meaty boyfriend my my big boy, he's a big old boy. No, I'm, James and the Giant Peach. <laughs> I, I love when my big boyfriend picks me up and puts me on the bed and puts a diaper on me and changes my poop and rocks me to sleep. Goo goo gaga. I'm a little baby. Yeah, I, I can't the, even talk yet. He's so, go, na, 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 na. He's so big. I, I want to suck on his nipples for milk because he's so much bigger than me and nurses me so nicely love it <laughs> i love that meme with that big ass bodybuilder and that thin ass chick and then like on the second frame it's like a usb outside of like a lightning port <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that's good that's this is way good. too big <laughs> you'll be jamming it in there there's no way. Sorry. Sorry. Whenever need, I see need that, an adapter. Whenever I see like a really tall dude with a small chick, I'm like, yo, he's getting skewered, homie. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking beef kebab shit. <laughs> Just rotisserie <laughs> chicken when they get down. Anyway. Uh, yo, uh, six nines new teeth. <laughs> Bro. Bro. The, the worst shit is when they don't even have bad teeth before. Like, his teeth were whatever. Like, it just yeah. was never noticeable. It's not yeah. like... Remember Young Thug's teeth before he oh, fixed his bad. teeth? They were bad. Yeah, they were like... They were like, you know, fucked up from like soda and like yeah. pointy and yeah. weird. Yeah. Six Nines was like, whatever. Yeah. And so he like flew to Columbia to get a new smile <laughs> from this dude that does veneers. And his fucking teeth bro are so big he looks like the donkey from shrek 
It just, looks like a Facetune pic. Yeah, like it looks like so we big. took a picture of him smiling and made his teeth bigger. <laughs> Do you think, you think he's gonna? You think he looks in the mirror now and he's like, "Yeah, I don't know if this was the right move." <laughs> I think I think he probably does. I think he does feel it a little bit that way. I wonder if they make them bigger because of like like erosion from your mouth or something over time. Yeah, maybe. Like, do you think they become more normal size just with wear and tear, eating food and shit like that? <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, probably not. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know, dude. It's why, 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 why? I, why? I don't know. I don't get veneers, bro. You can get new ones, maybe. I don't know. I don't get it either, man. It's too white. It's, yeah. it's the perfect smile, but it looks fucking weird. Yeah. It's, but nobody nobody has a perfect smile. Yeah, like, stain that shit weird. a little bit. That's yeah. what it should do. They should distress it a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Splash some soda on there. Yeah, yeah, Just Just run coffee through your mouth. <laughs> just like a thousand times. Yeah. There it goes. Yeah, now it's like a good, <laughs> like a coffee stain. Yeah. Your mouth, like, they have one of those fucking things that opens your mouth, and they're just spraying coffee inside with like a, <laughs> like like a pressure power wash. hose. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 just hitting your throat and rebounding off. <laughs> Can't wait till Jay Dodden takes that right there and makes that something about sucking dick or something like that. Damn it. <laughs> yo, yo, speaking of rappers before, did you look at those pictures I sent of Smoke Perp being a little fuckboy? Yeah, dude. He was a fucking viner. Yeah. Do you see that? Yeah. yeah. He used to like post stupid vines. Yeah. He was like a straight up yeah, fuckboy. He's a cornball. Someone was like, yeah, he... Like, no one in South Florida respects him because they all know he used to be like this. Yeah. And then he started, like, just pretending to be, like, a yeah. rapper yeah. and wearing expensive clothes and shit. I so I was like, how long was that transition? So I was like, four months. Yeah, I read that same thread. And then, like, did you, did you go further? Like, the dude bringing up X? No. They're like, yeah, X, like, used to be, like, like he was not a rapper. Like, he was just a dude on IG and was, like, like take shirtless pictures and, like, little girls, like, loved him. So that explains to me why he has so many women in his fan base. Huh, that's crazy. Yeah, because there, there are a lot of like, I, I would, I, to, at least to my knowledge, there are a lot of like young, like female listeners uh -huh. that listen to his shit. So I would assume that's where it's from. And like they were posting pictures of him just like doing like the fucking like the thin eyes. And he's wearing like pastel <laughs> polos and shit. Yeah. You're talking about smoke perp, right? No, I'm talking oh, about okay, X. Okay, okay. Like, oh, like open, like, <laughs> like open sweater, like flexing on the toilet. Like, <laughs> what's up? Oh, uh, that's funny. The ones with smoke perp are really funny, though. So, funny. like, he's like legit wearing like pastel polos yeah. and like, yeah, and, like, and it's like hearts and shit yeah, on the and pictures. Kiss me. Yeah. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> that's self edited, I'm pretty sure. Oh, no. Damn, that's Dude, a bummer. We got to bring that back. Yeah, let's do it. Let's like let's let's like rebrand our Instagrams yeah. <laughs> to just like <laughs> old fuckboy Instagrams in 2014. Uh -huh. Horrible fucking photo editing. Yeah, <clears throat> the the picture where it's like mirrored down the middle. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> faded as fuck. It's horrible being alone, looking for your true love. <laughs> Uh -huh. Both of us have girlfriends. Yeah. <laughs> like, bitch, we rebrand as yeah. this <laughs> single sad single, fuck boy. Yeah, single sad sad boys. <sighs> oh. So damn hard. It's just hard, you know. We didn't even set a timer in this bitch. I did. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> what are you looking for? Hmm? You're like, where's my phone? Where's my phone? Yeah. Where is my phone? Man, I'm excited to get all the <clears throat> shit in here. Yeah, we're not. We're gonna dress this shit up. It's gonna look good as fuck. Um, and I'm excited. I fucking got new furniture for my place. Yeah, I so. saw. It looks dope now. We got like like you got to come over and see the shit. Yeah, but no. um, and I'm gonna do a little soundproofing in there too, so we can hey. actually like it'll be a real studio. Uh, There's a couch in there now that converts to a sleeper too. There you go for Samuel. Pretty sick. Yeah, <laughs> basically just for Sam. It's just for Sam. <laughs> That's what it's for. It's the Sam bed. Yeah. Whatever, um, dude. We're gonna move into the phase house and fucking yeah. That's what that's should be our plan. Yeah, yeah. yeah dude. We'll be phase. What what would your phase name be? Um, like Zypher. Mine Zypher would be with an X. Nice <laughs> XZ. I like that. Something really gamer. Phase Short King. Okay, that's me. Yeah. No, you gotta like gotta abbreviate it. No, Phase Blaze. <laughs> phase Blaze. <laughs> phase Blaze. 
<laughs> hey, yo, what up? <laughs> it's your boy Phase fucking Blaze, bro. I'm pretty sure there's a pro Fortnite player with Blaze, but he spells it B L A. Really? B L A I S E. Like Blaze. Yeah, like Blaze. 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 Oi, what's up? It's Blaze. It's Blaze. It's Blaze. It's Blaze. I'm like, man, just fucking put a Z in there. Come on. Go all the way with it. Damn, I just had some shit I was going to say. Fuck, what was it? What were we talking about before that? Phase Blaze. Phase Blaze. That's a letter. Um, mm, damn it. No. What up, dude? It's Phase Blaze. What's up? Phase Blaze here. And today I'm going to be doing the uh, eating marshmallows challenge. I love like the dude's like phase rug. You ever seen that dude's <clears throat> or no. his YouTube channel? No. He like lives in this big ass mansion. He's super rich from YouTube. He's got like 10 million subscribers, but he just does like challenge <laughs> videos. So he's not a gamer? No, he's not. <laughs> I mean like maybe he was, maybe he yeah. still does it, but it's not his like main thing. Sure. It's yeah. just funny like YouTube just takes your like passions or whatever and just like destroys them <laughs> everyone just ends up doing fucking yeah challenge yeah. Videos. videos and reactions and it's like damn how much money did i make from that video <laughs> and all i did was sit there yeah. in a tub and got slime poured on me <laughs> um, i guess that's my new shit now uh then you fucking make the mistake of making it your job and then you're like oh i have no creative integrity yeah at <laughs> all anymore <laughs> So what's up, guys? I'm doing the tenth episode of Steamy Tweets today. <laughs> no, that does have creative integrity. You think so? Yes, that series is fucking great. Okay. So is Love Island. Okay. All right. Fair enough. I'm uh I'm digging up some extra spicy tweets for the next episode. Oh, I'm pumped. Yeah. When like, are we shooting that bad um, boy? Uh, pretty soon. I was like trying to. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Keep going. It's fine. No, no I, re I remember what I was going to say. Okay. But keep going. No. You go for it. No, no, no. Keep going. I was just saying I'm trying to find like, like horny started threads like like by individuals versus accounts wow. yeah. so like you know some like fucking twitter girl with like 10k followers is like yeah like if your man doesn't like lick your clit and like <laughs> also like tongue punch your <laughs> pussy is it even a real man and then just all the replies on that being like shit Open up them DMs, girl. Let me <laughs> let me show you what like a real tongue puncher is all about. Uh -huh. I mean, it depends if he's over five eight. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, fuck yeah, yes, dude. <laughs> what were you gonna say? So you're saying we're gonna go through the threads? Yeah, and, like, like read that's the what discussions. I'm trying to find is like people being horny. Yeah, and like, then, like a, a serious horny convo. Convo. Yeah, yeah. a serious like two sided horny yeah, debate yeah. about something tongue punching fart boxes something, or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Or like I'm trying to like get like when someone thirst traps, uh -huh. and then, <laughs> then like when they try to converse off that like openly, like oh yeah, god damn it, <laughs> horny on me, like, like Cody Daniels or yeah, whatever. Yeah, oh dude, yeah, that dude is so funny, man. <laughs> this is so crazy. This is so crazy. Okay, wait, well, can you you want to talk about this? Yeah, yeah, but finish what you were gonna say. I man. was just gonna say I I made this beat and I wanna I wanna play. We don't have an aux cord, but no. I wanna just play it real quick yeah. and. Because I want I want someone to kill this beat. Okay. And I'm specifically probably Cosmic Lad, but <laughs> but uh, I thought I would just play it just because I actually really like it. I was listening to it, it in I was listening to it in my car again, and I actually really like it. Let it ding. Oh, um, and then we'll talk about Cody Daniels. Yeah, yeah. the boy Cody Daniels. Um, hey, Infowars.com.com.com.com. <laughs> this is so janky. It's gonna sound like man, shit. Man, 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 man. Yeah, maybe you should just post a link. I will, I will. I just wanna hit them. A little will. <laughs> you can't hear the 808s at all. <laughs> it's just yeah, dude. I'm it's sure, a heater. It's I, a heater. I'm sure everyone got the feel. Yeah, yeah, no, you get it. Off those you like got it. You got the vibe. You can hear off those ten frequencies right there. <laughs> <laughs> it just sounds like, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I saw some Asian in there. It's like, wow, that's really abstract. <laughs> I like this. It's a new genre of music. That's noise. Yeah. 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 We play the beats through the microphone. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> and then compress them. Even Noise more. reduction. Yeah. <laughs> so you just, play them again. Like deep fried beat. <laughs> bass bass deep, boosted. Yeah. Deep fried beats. End. Bass boosted. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, the boy Cody Daniels, bro. This is this is crazy, actually. Um, 
So someone was kind enough to link me to a Facebook distribution of TikTok posts, which is just Musical.ly now, because <clears throat> TikTok owns Musical.ly. By the way, I went on TikTok <clears throat> after that and just started browsing users. I've never been on Musical.ly. There's no reason for Vine 2. Okay. Mus- TikTok is Vine 2. Really? It's like, the, it's like on, oh God. Is there comedy on there? Yeah, but it's like the fucking, it's what Vine ended up becoming. Okay. Like, now they, like, the whole feed is like shoehorned challenges because it seems like they arrange deals, like with record labels and stuff, to have like those songs just ready to go. Mm-hmm. And, um, God damn, I can't fucking breathe. Oh, so it's all like, it's all like manufactured, like, yeah, Kiki challenges and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So like, like some people were posting one like the Bad Boys challenge. Like, is that one like you retweeted, where guys are like, it's like, why do good girls like bad oh, okay. guys? Like, that's kind of what that guy was going for. Like, with the whole like, ladies, you want to bet? Get you a guy who can you know do it all or whatever. That video was so perfect, so good. Anyway, so it's like, um, so it, it's it's like. The blue challenge, the that challenge, and it's like all songs as puns. Mm-hmm. So it just looks like Vine, and they have a bunch of people on there, you know, with the like, like shitty like fifteen second puns and stuff, okay. and in their bedroom like making jokes. It's 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 just Vine. So like, the guy <laughs> when the guy like when the creator of Vine was like, oh, I can't work on Vine too. What he should have said was like, just go to Musically. Okay, it's basically that. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, TikTok is. Originally, it's Chinese. So I think they just set up like this auto posting on Facebook as like a social thing. Mm -hmm. They just didn't like, it just got forgotten about. So someone linked me to this Facebook page. It's just an auto distribution. It's just links. Okay. And then some of them have like five views and people are like, what the fuck is this? (laughs) Others have like 12,000 shares. Like this is hilarious. So I was watching them on stream and I came across the Cody Daniels dude with the crooked smile. And... Yeah, you know, I like I posted it. Describe the guy though. Describe yeah, this yeah. video. So this fucking video, uh, yeah, I guess pe- not everyone follows me on Twitter. It's like this dude, it's like some country song, and then like he's like he's got his back turned to the camera, and then it's like about a it's like a country song about a boy with a snapback, <laughs> and he like turns around and his his fucking hat is reversed and he's like walks up like to the fucking camera and he's like he's like fuck boying it a little bit and then he smiles and his smile is just like dumb crooked like he looks but that's like a country smile it's yeah. like the smile out of one yeah yeah yeah, like, yeah. he smiles like two Face or like Duke Nukem yeah I guess there's a reason he smiles that way whatever um, and so that's it, like a southern thing though isn't it the, the sideways smile I don't yeah, it's know it's not like a medical reason no, I mean I don't know he just smiles crooked because that's what country boys do. I guess. I mean, they do this. <laughs> well, someone tweeted. They said specifically him. There's a reason he smiles like that. Like I don't know. It's like they said like something to do with his jaw. I don't know. No. Probably wrong. I don't care. The the real humor is that. So like this fucking this shit got it blew up. It's like been retweeted a bunch of times. Got a ton of views on it. People like made their own memes out of it. And so. I go to his page and he's like, he's like doubling down on it. He's like upset that like no one knows like it's him. <laughs> it's like his most recent tweet is him like quote tweeting like one of his like TikTok videos. And he goes, don't worry y'all. There are seven more videos like that one. And it's got like four likes. And I, I was going to retweet it, but I'm like, is it dick if I like, I don't want to like clown him. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. I feel kind of bad because he's like, he's got a kid and like, He's yeah. got a kid? Yeah, I'm not trying to fuck with him like that. Like, But what was funny was... But he's he, young now, right? Yeah, people were like... Uh, he, he goes like, oh, the fact that people are like making fun of me like is so crazy... For having a crooked smile is so crazy to me. And then someone goes, I don't think anyone cares about your smile. I think it's just that you made a cringy, sexy cowboy video. And I'm like, God damn it, if that isn't a fucking awesome category for content. <laughs> Yeah, you know, let me just browse the cringy, sexy cowboys videos right now. <laughs> uh, see, that's why you need a VPN right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> see, you, you don't want up. fucking sexy cowboys showing up on your IP address. Why do you consistently visit Cody Daniels <laughs> at twelve thirty at night? Oh uh, no! Why are you on the cringy, sexy cowboys subreddit? No, no particular reason. Just, uh, just research. 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 <laughs> This yeah. guy is so funny, man. I was on his he Instagram is. page. 
And okay, I'm not. I don't want to clown on too much either. But like, he's got a giant <laughs> American, American flag. flag tattooed sideways on his arm. Yeah, like from here to here. Yeah. And I saw the post where he was like about to get it. I went like way back. Oh, I'm you went always, deep. I always go deep, man. Yeah. I always fucking. <laughs> if I'm stalking. I, I'm gonna stalk for real. Yeah, I'm going back to the start. Yeah. yeah. You know, I start from I start from zero and I go up. And it was like about to get this shit blasted on my arm. Can't wait. And it's like. Like a, like a picture of a dude with the same tat. And like, that's kind of weird. Copying, yeah. copying a tattoo di- like that somebody <laughs> already has. Like yeah. ex- exactly the same. It's like, yo, that's sick. It's like kind of part of tattoos are that they're unique. They're personal, yeah. Yeah. Yo, <laughs> yo, what's on your leg right there? R.I.P. Mom? That's fucking fire. I think I'm going to get that. <laughs> Some Somebody got my tattoo. Oh, the, because I had it. Yeah, I got a DM from someone that was like, yo, just got just got blasted and it was the fucking <laughs> ship's wheel on my leg. You were like, why'd you do that? <laughs> yeah, they were, they, were, they were like, I was drunk and whatever. And then some girl got her fucking name tattooed on her ass. Did we talk about that? Yeah. My name <laughs> yeah. tattooed. Yeah, and then she got it removed. And then a week later she got that shit removed. <laughs> she was like, I'm not putting this shit out of here. Yeah. Um, no one, uh, I mean, that's, that's an accomplishment. I've never got my name tatted on an ass that's crazy i think the next level truly when you've actually made it is, is when people leaves it there when people that yes someone gets your name tatted on their ass and then leaves it <laughs> b someone gets a photorealistic portrait of you tattooed yeah yeah that's the next thing yeah yeah bro speaking of tattoos there's some british show god damn it it's like it's not mtv like post clips of it and it's like some show where people get to choose your tattoos. Okay. And there's like these two boys getting like, like their homies and like they get in like a beef because one of the homies picks um, tattoos like in the style of like Batman where, you know, like those cutscenes where it's like bang, zing, pow. It like looks like that font. Mm-hmm. And it's like, I have chlamydia and like, like I have herpes and shit like all around his dick and like on his thighs. Now he pulls down his pants and he looks at the tats and he's like, Oh my god! Wait, what is this on? It's like it's like on MTV or some shit. He's like, "What? Oh, what the fuck am I?" Like walks off. And he's like crying. And the other boy's like crying. He's like, "You always like blow me off like like for some bird. Like you never you don't hang out with me anymore. Like one day something's gonna happen to you and like all this shit." I'm like, "Yo, son, you just ruined your boy's like game because you're jealous that he don't hang out with you anymore." Just tell him you love him. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. Kiss him yeah, on the just mouth, kiss him dude. On the mouth. dude. You don't have to get him the tattoo. Just tell him you fucking love him. <laughs> I couldn't believe that. And the dude, the dude's like crying. He's like, no, fair, fair. No, that's fair. I'm like, that's not fair. I mean, they must be able to get them that's removed. Fair. That's fair. Come here. Yeah. <laughs> that's fucking crazy. I hope that's fucking fake. No, they probably get him removed. Like, there's no way they leave that shit on, dude. There's Hopefully. No- they're, they're, these tat, I mean, I'll find a screenshot. Yeah, them tattoos I are bad. I want to see bad. Uh, so, yeah. All right, guys, that about does it. Oh, we we out of time. Yeah, how long we go for? I'm thinking like an hour ten, something like that. It is, it's crazy when you don't have the fucking clock in front. I know of it's you. great. It's nice. Uh, I want to thank Nord VPN one more time for one sponsoring this. NordVPN.com slash tiny meat. Sixty six percent off a two year plan. Go Man get gang. that shit. Seriously, anonymize your shit. Yeah. For real. Stay safe. Yeah. Oh, we don't. We should put that in the song. <laughs> VPN. VPN. Yeah, we shit. Should. That's oh. in the remix. Yeah, the remix. Yo, this is all about technology. <laughs> all right, y'all. Love you guys. See you soon. Peace. Peace.